Iran has seized, intercepted a commercial U.S. Uh, a commercial cargo ship. The United States is, seems to be getting involved. Yeah, the Pentagon watching this very closely and more. In fact, I want to bring in our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo. Jim, what do you know? John, okay, really a remarkable confrontation here. This ship, to be clear, was not a U.S. ship. It's a Marshall Islands flagged ship and no Americans on board, but it was a U.S. guided missile destroyer, the USS Farragut, that answered a distress call. Uh, elements from the Iran Revolutionary Guards, they have their own navy, uh, they attempted to force this ship into Iranian waters. Uh, the ship's captain refused, issued a distress call. Uh, the Iranian ships then fire across the cargo ship's bow. This is a big cargo ship. Uh, it's owned by Maersk, one of those big cargo lines. They fire shots across the bow. Uh, the captain gives in. But by this point, the U.S. Navy has already answered the distress call. They, they were some 60 miles away when it happened, so they weren't you know, right on top of the ship. Uh, but the ship is now on Iranian hands, and I'm told by a senior U.S. military official that even as it heads now further into Iranian waters, it is U.S. warplanes uh, that are monitoring its status. You know, th this is interesting, John and Kate. You'll remember last week we had an Iranian convoy headed towards Yemen, and you had U.S. Navy ships, including an aircraft carrier, uh, diverted down there to watch and kind of send a signal, don't go there. Uh, to have this happen uh, just a few days later uh, with the U.S. Navy involved, it just shows how close uh, Iranian and U.S. naval warships and military assets are over there. Uh, and just, uh, you know, these things can get very tense very quickly.